Corets for COVID-19 Reporting and Data System provides a standardized assessment scheme that simplifies reporting with a five-point scale of suspicion for pulmonary involvement of COVID-19 on chest CT. COVID-19 presents with CT findings that partially overlap with other diseases, mainly viral infections, but also shows characteristic features seen less frequently in other settings. In early March 2020, the Dutch Radiological Society initiated a COVID-19 network to facilitate development and nationwide dissemination of COVID-19-related information and tools. The authors developed a standardized assessment scheme for pulmonary involvement of COVID-19. This type of system has been shown to work well in clinical practice and to allow for selection of optimal cutoff points for various clinical decisions, depending on the tasks at hand. CORATS provides a level of suspicion for pulmonary involvement of COVID-19 based on the features seen on a non-enhanced chest CT. The level of suspicion increases from very low to very high. Two additional categories respectively encode a technically insufficient examination which is CORATS 0 and RT-PCR proven infection at the time of examination which is CORATS 6. This chart shows all the categories along with the levels of suspicion and additional information. Courage 0 is chosen if none of the five categories can be assigned because of scans that are incomplete or of insufficient quality, for example, because of severe artifacts due to coughing or breathing. Courage 1 implies a very low level of suspicion for pulmonary involvement by COVID-19 based on either a normal CT or CT findings of unequivocal non-infectious etiology such as emphysema, peripheral nodules, lung tumors, or fibrosis. CORETS 2 implies a low level of suspicion for pulmonary involvement by COVID-19 based on CT findings in the lungs that are typical of infectious etiology but not compatible with COVID-19. Examples are bronchitis, infectious bronchiolitis, bronchopneumonia, lower pneumonia, and pulmonary abscess. Features include tree in bud sign, centrilobular nodular pattern, lower or segmental consolidation, and lung cavitation. CORAS-3 implies equivocal findings for pulmonary involvement of COVID-19 based on CT features that can also be found in other viral pneumonias or non-infectious etiologies. Findings include perihilar ground glass, homogeneous extensive ground glass with or without sparing of some secondary pulmonary lobules, or ground glass together with smooth interlobular septal thickening with or without pleural effusion in absence of other typical CT findings. CORETS 4 implies a high level of suspicion for pulmonary involvement by COVID-19 based on CT findings that are typical but showing some overlap with other viral pneumonias. Findings are similar to CORETS 5 but are not located in contact with the visceral pleura or are located strictly unilaterally, are in a predominant peribronchovascular distribution or are superimposed on severe diffuse pre-existing pulmonary abnormalities. CORETS-5 implies a very high level of suspicion for pulmonary involvement by COVID-19 based on typical CT findings. The mandatory features for pulmonary involvement of COVID-19 are ground glass opacities with or without consolidations in lung regions close to visceral pleural surfaces including the fissures and multifocal bilateral distribution.
CORAGE 6 was introduced to indicate proven COVID-19 as signified by a positive RT-PCR test for virus-specific nucleic acid. As chest CT has an important role in visualizing lung damage, there is a need for an easy-to-use reproducible method to standardize the communication of COVID-19 severity. Today, the CT severity score method will be discussed. CT severity score is a semi-quantitative scoring system used to estimate the pulmonary involvement of COVID-19 related abnormalities on the basis of the area involved. The method can be adopted by radiologists without any additional tools and is fairly reproducible. Each of the five lung lobes is visually scored on a scale of 0 to 5. 0 indicates no involvement while 1 indicates less than 5% involvement, 2 indicates 5 to 25% involvement, 3 indicates 26 to 50% involvement, 4 indicates 51 to 75% involvement, and 5 indicates more than 75% involvement. The total CT score is the sum of the individual lower scores and ranges from 0 to 25, 0 indicates no involvement, while 25 indicates maximum involvement. If the score is less than 8, then the disease is mild. If the score is between 9 to 15, then the disease is moderate. And if the score is more than 15, the disease is severe. Now, suppose we are calculating the score for the right lower lobe of the lung. In this CT, there is no involvement of the right lower lobe, so the score for this lobe will be 0. Here, there is less than 5% involvement of the right lower lobe, so the score for this lobe will be 1. Here, there is 5 to 25% involvement of the right lower lobe. So the score for this lobe will be 2. In this film, there is 26 to 50% involvement of the right wall lobe. So the score for this lobe will be 3. Here, there is 51 to 75% involvement of the right wall lobe. So the score for this lobe will be 4. And in this CT, there is more than 75% involvement of the right lower lobe, so the score for this lobe will be 5. Now an example, if the right upper lobe has 26 to 50% involvement, the score will be 3. If the right middle lobe has 5 to 25% involvement, the score will be 2. If the right lower lobe has more than 75% involvement, the score will be 5. If the left upper lobe has less than 5% involvement, the score will be 1. And if the left lower lobe has 51 to 75% involvement, the score will be 4. So in total, the score will be 15.